tell me what you want to know. This is our new fluid drive system. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is the APHP 10,000. It's very so. I mean, can't you tell? <laughs> okay, what it, what it really is is that I, I I came to think that fat bikes are just obtuse. You know, like when they were first being made a bazillion years ago, I was just like, God, that's kind of dumb. And then you ride one, you're like, that's kind of fun, and whatever. And Many years ago, I made a fat bike before actually the Pugsley was out. And I didn't know that they were making them. I watched this show on the Discovery Channel about these dudes crossing Antarctica, and they got land cruisers, and they got the biggest tires they could do and go wide. At the time, which was, I believe, 1990 was some fucking thing a long time ago, I got Gazzalotti 3.0s, and I made a bike around them. Still had a 68mm shell and everything, and I did this because... I lived at an apartment building, and that was exactly one mile from the shop. The U of M wouldn't plow the bike path, and I didn't like riding on the transitway because the buses would go by you, and it was like, oh, my God, deadly fast. It was very scary. So I was like, hey, man, I'll just make a bike with big tires, and I can ride it. And then I saw some rims up in Surly when I worked there. I was like, dude, I need those rims. And he's like, why? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm making a, a bike with big tires so I can ride it on the pathway and so basically all this fat bike stuff came and gone and you've seen all this stuff and it's really interesting but the whole point is that I, I kind of wanted to make something special this year for last year's nabs and I was like what can I do and there's I'm not going to tell you on camera but there's a very obtuse story about this name and the reason why it is called this is because this is a completely ridiculous bike this is just it's the other side of obtuse there's no need or this fills no gap, this, there's no niche that this deserves to be in because it's a mini fat velo. And as we all know, mini velos are, you know, highly prized by certain people. They just love them. They're great. 20 inch wheeled road bikes, whatever. I just thought it'd be really funny to make a mini fat velo because it's the stupidest thing ever. Like this, this bike serves no purpose other than fun. <laughs> make road bikes and make road bikes you know and and then you hear things like well this is a 32 millimeter road bike it can fit up to 32 millimeter you know tires and it just makes me think of when I worked at Kroll in 1993 the bikes we made all road bikes yeah they'd come with 23s but you could fit 28s on them mm -hmm. and like it's funny to see like back then your road bike usually had eyelets for fenders mm -hmm. And your road bike was your training bike, your crit bike, your road racing bike. And yeah, you'd put fenders on for it if you made it fixed for the winter. Mm -hmm. People forget that, that that was a do-all road bike. Kroll made the best do-all road bikes that I know of back in that day. Walter really, he had his hand on the pulse of it. It was great. And when you see these cobalt blue lugged bikes, and it was like, man, you can go off road with them. Like, people raced them in cyclocross, you know? Like, <laughs> it's just funny because you have these people with, like, 25C tires going by, and I'm just like, everyone else is on, like, at least 32s, you know? So it's funny to see, like, this whole paradigm shift and new builders come in, like, yeah, this is my gravel bike, you know? And I've done a lot of research, and I'm like, yeah, dude, we, we made that in 1993. We just called it a road bike, you know? We didn't know any better. So it's funny to see the progression of how bikes and racing and how niche and niche and niche it's getting. And then like, I'll come to a bike show and be like, hey, look it, it's a piece of candy. <laughs> it's got 20 inch fat wheels, isn't that cool? Because I can do all that high end stuff and I, I like doing that, but this is fun. This really makes people smile. And to me, the best memories I have of cycling was when I was free, when I was a kid riding my bike. You'd get out of school and you'd hop on that bike and you were free, you were gone, you're going down the river. Mm -hmm. You know, you're poking bees in us with sticks and getting on your bike and pedaling away going, oh my God, we're going to die. That was the real adventure of it. And that's the sense of adventure I want to put in every bike that I make is that you can leave your horrible job behind and you can clip in and get the hell out of town. You know, you can quick snake out and do 20 miles down on the river bottoms. That is what bikes should do. And so when people say that I'm not serious, I don't think you understand how serious I am. I'm just not going to have a heart attack because of it. I, I hope not. 